So your tendon is moving out and you want to make this a smooth transition for everyone. What are some things that you can do to have a good move out experience for you and your tenants? My name is Daniel Holmes and I'm the broker and owner here at Key Runner St. Charles Property Management. Today, I am going over seven tips on making it a good move out for your rental property. So the first thing that you want to do as soon as your tenants give you notice that they're moving out is send them a move out checklist. This should include a reminder to send you their new address, uh, make their final utility payments, anything that they need to do before moving out of your property. You should also include a cleaning checklist, and I recommend giving them your preferred vendors for cleaning, um, so then that way they can contact them directly to come and clean the property once they move out. Um, next, notify the tenants when you'll be there to conduct their move out walkthrough. This is important uh, because in the state of Missouri, landlord-tenant law requires that the landlord gives the tenant notice when this will occur, um, and the tenant has the right to be present for the move out walkthrough. And just make sure that you don't complete the move out walkthrough until the tenants hand over possession of the property. I suggest requiring the tenant to email you when they have officially vacated and surrendered possession back to you. That way you have it in writing that they are returning the home back. Um, and then once you get to the move, move out, um, make sure to document the move out condition. Take a ton of photos. Hopefully, you also completed a very detailed move-in um, report, so that way you can easily compare the two. Then, once you compare the move-in and the move-out report, make a list of what items you plan to withhold from the security deposit and get that work done and save your invoices. In the meantime, make sure that any utility bills that follow the property, which would be like water, sewer, and trash, make sure that they've been paid in full by the tenant Otherwise, you're probably going to get stuck with that with the bill on those eventually. Um, so now you're ready to send the tenant back their deposit. Um, you want to write up a letter that's going to outline what their original security deposit was, what deductions were made from it, and what the balance due back to them is going to be. If their balance is negative, uh, just make sure to let them know that and give them a deadline on when that payment is due to you by. If they are getting a refund um, of their security deposit, just be sure to include the check in with your letter to them. Um, and then also make a copy of your letter and the check that you're sending them and mail it to their last known address. Hopefully the tenant gave you their new address, but if for some reason they didn't and you can't get a hold of them to get it, um, you'll just wanna send it to their last known address. In Missouri, the deposit refund in any itemization is due back to the tenant within 30 days of the lease expiry. It's never gonna be fun when a tenant moves out, but having a process in place can really help eliminate unnecessary stress for you and your tenants. Call me if I can help, 636-707-2000, or visit our website, keyrunnerstcharles.com.